You know, metal additive manufacturing, there are a lot of ways to go from powder to finished product. The powder can be melted by electron beams, lasers, there are a lot of ways to skin a cap. The powder itself, of course, is the key to the process. I'm with Mary Kate Johnson, she's business development manager for Sandvik Osprey Limited. Mary Kate, now Sandvik, of course, is, is a well-known, broad-based high technology company. Most of our viewers are familiar with Sandvik as a, a cutting tool uh, provider, cutting tool manufacturer. This is a research-driven company. Tell me about the metal powder side of this business. Absolutely. Sandvik Osprey has been manufacturing metal powders for over 40 years. We manufacture fine metal powders. We manufacture about 10 million pounds a year. And we have the capability uh, to manufacture over 3,000 different alloys. Now, 3,000 different alloys, that's, that's, that's a broad range. What sorts of industries and applications are these alloys used for? Of course, we think of aerospace as a, as, as a primary one, but there are a lot of different applications to these powders. Absolutely. We manufacture powders for the aerospace application, for firearms, for medical. The different grades of alloys we can manufacture also range from high nickel alloys to stainless steels to cobalt alloys, but also copper alloys, which I think is um, very interesting for this market as well. Yeah, copper is relatively unusual material at, at this point, although we're seeing some growing applications. Now, uh, when you're talking about 3,000 potential metal alloys, no one engineer can actually know specifically what the alloy they need for their application is. So, uh, can an engineer approach Sandvik in this case and say, look, I've got this application, I don't know what I need? Yes, we, we have um, metallurgists on staff with over 20 years of experience in the atomizing industry. All our powders are manufactured through gas atomization. So all you have to do is uh, send us a quick email, go on our website, send us an email and ask us if this is an alloy we can manufacture. If we can't, we'll be very clear about it, but we can also suggest something close or similar if we have uh, information regarding your application. That's an interesting approach because in many cases, of course, the design engineer knows that they want to make this part. They're not sure what an optimum alloy would be. So is there a feedback system where changing the alloy could change the way the designer thinks of the part itself, the design? Um, we, we don't see that as much as thinking about, you know, understanding what the requirements are that they need for that part and a, a material that fit that requirement. It, it takes some discussions, but we, we often get there. Now, of course, uh, powders can be bought in bulk and they can be hopper fed in some applications, but some more modern machines now, of course, are using cartridges or a cleaner, neater way of, di of dispensing the powder. I understand that, that you're working with the industry on, on that mo mode of dispensing as well. Yes, we are very happy to announce a partnership here with Desktop Metals. We will be supplying the metal powder for several of their cartridges, and here's an example of one uh, of 17.4 pH. So it uh, sounds a bit like we imagine um, printers used to be, where you have to snap a, an ink cartridge into the printer. This is like snapping a metal cartridge into a metal printer. I, I think this is very exciting for a variety of reasons, but just imagine that you could be printing in 316L, a high nickel alley, and all of a sudden you'd like to switch. You have an, an hour left of production, you just want to switch and make one quick part. You can just take this cartridge, take the old one out, put the new one in, and within 60 seconds you're printing a new grade of material. Now, of course, um, like all production processes, it's about pounds to the ground. It's how fast can you can you get, get a product finished. Obviously, the change over time is reduced using a cartridge-based system, but as this technology becomes more about making mass production parts as opposed to prototypes, do you see the volume or demand for metal powders ramping up going forward? I'm very excited to say I do see the um, ramp up in requirement for metal powders. We are currently commissioning a new atomizer in um, Neath, Wales, Neath in Wales where we manufacture our metal powders and there are already plans for another atomizer. Over 3,000 metal alloy options and a ramp up of powder production at Sandvik Osprey, says Mary Kate Johnson, Business Development Manager.